mother in North Mississippi is taking her fight to put age restrictions on the sale of caffeine pills to the local level now. WCBI's Jory Talley is here in studio with us and has more on what her goal has been for the past year and a half. Jory. Tommy, Jennifer Westmoreland, 17-year-old son Noah, died on homecoming night almost two years ago after taking just two caffeine pills to help him through his busy schedule. Now the family is doing everything they can to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else's family. If she can't get Noah's law passed by the state, then Jennifer Westmoreland will fight to get Noah's ordinance passed at the local level. We have gone to numerous counties and cities, and they have passed this ordinance. This has been before the state. It has passed the House two years in a row, but it has failed in the Senate. The state's decision is not stopping Westmoreland. If anything, it's more motivation to put an age restriction on the pills and powder. Let's make this to where you have to be 18. He could have smoked two cigarettes and still been here, but yet he has to be 18 to buy those. He could have drank two beer, which you have to be 21 to buy. He would still be here. But yet he takes two pills and now he's gone. The goal is to get as many counties on board as possible, which is why the Water Valley native went to Winona to present Noah's Law to the board. We were told by the Attorney General that, in his opinion, we should go county to county and try to get these ordinances passed. The more support that this pulls through the state, it will force the hands on a state level. And that's what we need the people of the community to do. Montgomery County is already on board for the ordinance, and Winona Mayor Jerry Flowers thinks it won't be any different for the city. We just have to look at it and just make sure that our T's are crossed and I's dotted. But I, I feel sure that uh, that we'll, I mean, we want to do everything we can to protect our children here in, in, in the city of Winona, and I think that's a good deterrent for that. Now, Mayor Flower says the board will have a decision made at their next meeting in two weeks. Tommy, 